Hey, praise the Lord, guys. Hey, man. Up here in Raleigh, waiting on Isaiah. Isaiah's in here training with his trainer, getting ready for the football season and everything. So uh, I'm just sitting out doing the dad thing, you know. Um, as you all know that I started, uh, I said something about it Sunday. And so uh, I'm starting a men's Bible study group, okay? We started a men's Bible study group. And every Monday, uh, probably in the evening, I'm going to be releasing a men's Bible study, no more than 15 to 20 minutes that you can watch during the week. So every Monday I'll release something. And what I want to talk to you about for, you know, the next couple of weeks while we go through this COVID-19 thing is we're going to go back into something that we did years ago called Kingdom Men. All right. So every Monday I'm going to be releasing a new teaching on kingdom men. Like I said, it's not going to be long, but it would give us something as men um, to just help ourselves um, as we go through this, dealing with our families and everything like that. Because one of my one of my prayers is when we come out of this, our men's group will be stronger. Our men's group will be just uh, on another level. And I just believe that God has used this time to get things together, to get our foundation together, just for me as a pastor and for you guys as as men, so we can help make the church stronger. You know, one of the things that they say is women grow the church, but men make it stronger. Um, I believe that's true. You know, I, I believe that's true. You know, and so that's something that we want to talk about. So I want to talk to you today about something called who are you listening to? Who who are you listening to as a man? Who are you listening to? Um, one of the things as men is we, you, you, let, I, one of the things is, man, I was trying to say African-American men, but I think all men, one of the things is all men is if we're not careful, we could get into this notion that I'm the man, this, this, I'm, I can make my own decision. And what happens is if we become our own counsel and the Bible clearly speaks against that. He said, the, the Bible says there's wisdom in counsel. So who are you listening to as a man? Who are you listening to? Who Are, are you coachable? All right, we all sports guys. Everybody that I'm talking to right now, you're sports guys. We all played it. Uh, we got our kids playing it, whether it's uh, a son or daughter, niece, nephew. We, we play it. We, we, we got people playing it. We coach it. All right, so we know that as men, we have to be coachable. You know, we know that as as uh, uh, people who are in the athletic world or whatever you're doing, we have to be coachable. So my question to you is, who are you listening to? Are you allowing God? Are you allowing uh, 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 the people that God has placed in your life to coach you in areas of your life to get you to the next level? You, you get what I'm saying? Or, 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 or we are so as men, so I got it all together. I don't need nobody to tell me that, that we are sabotaging our own success. Uh -huh. or is that what we're doing as men? Because one of the things I'm going to talk about myself, one of the things that I found out as a man is that most of the trouble that I got myself into was because of me trying to th say, I don't need nobody else. I can do it on my own. I'm a grown man and I can make my own. And before I knew it, I was in some serious bull mm -hmm. before I knew it. I was in some mess, man. Okay, I wasn't listening to my wife, wasn't listening to my dad, wasn't listening to my mom, wasn't listening to my mentors, wasn't listening to nobody because I felt like I'm a man and I could do this on my own. I don't need none of y'all people. I was going to say, I don't need none of y'all people. And before I know it, I was in some mess and them same people who I said I didn't need was them same people who I had to go back to and ask them, could they pull me out of it? So again, as men, who are we listening to? The Bible says, in the Bible it says, my, God says, my sheep know my voice. Question, are you even listening to God? Come on, you don't have to be a, a, a pastor or elder or a deacon. You don't got to be none of that for God not to talk to you. All you got to do is have a relationship with God, a piece of a relationship with God. If you have a piece of a relationship, the Bible says the faith is the size of a mustard seed, right? Mustard seed is really small. If you, if you take a mustard seed and throw it in this dirt right here, you probably wouldn't even find it. But he said, all you got to have that. So if you got a piece 
of God, a piece of a salvation. God will talk to you. So my question is, are you even listening to God? Because God will be telling us what we need to do and how we need to do it. OK, let me tell you something, too, man. There is nothing wrong with being a part of the church. There is nothing wrong with serving in the church. There is nothing wrong with raising your hand. There is nothing wrong with being in the church. I don't understand why a lot of times as men, we look at the church like is. A, I know there's a lot of um, I don't want to call them. Let me um, I, I don't know a good word for them. I, I, I know a lot of times there are some uh, men in the church that um, that you, you raise your eyebrows about. OK, let, let, let's can I do it like that? All right. But for the most part, that's not that breath of God. I don't know about nobody else, church, but we don't do that. Breath of God. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> but but there is nothing wrong with being a part of the church. There is nothing wrong with it. You know, I'm looking at the athletes today. I'm looking at all these guys, and the first thing that come out of their mouth is the church. The first thing that come out of their mouth is, you know, they over here at the church. They over there at the church because they all know, man, um, you could get all the money in the world, but if your heart ain't right, if this ain't right, it it is look at AD. A B, I'm sorry. Look at Antonio Brown. We, we might be thinking like, man, this dude got all the money in the entire of the world. Why is that thing crazy? That's because he doesn't have a void. That, that There's a void in his life that God needs to fill. And, 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 and you can all, you all know this, the truth. And what? He's not coachable. He's not listening to nobody. If he was listening to somebody, he would be with the Patriots right now. They told him what to do, but he decided to do his own thing and look what happened to him. So having money don't make it no better. You, it has to start now, men. It has to start now. We have to start being coachable. We have to start listening. We have to start finding mentors. Come on now. There is nothing wrong with getting behind the pastor and say, hey, I'm going I'm to let the pastor pastor me in this area or, or, or stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with saying, hey, you know what? I'm going to strive to be a deacon in the church. I'm going to start to get my life together so I can be a deacon in the church. All right. I'm going to start putting myself in position for God to raise me up as a kingdom man, because we need kingdom men in this season that we're in. All of you guys that brought the guard, you a kingdom man. So what? You got issues. Name me a man that doesn't. So what? You go through issues. Name me a man. That, but that does not stop you from doing what God has called you to do. Well, I just want my life to be better. Well, do what God called you to do. I just want my marriage or my relationship or with my kids and my wife or my, my, my fiance, whatever it is. Well, do what God's called you to do. Do what he called you to do. As we get ready to come back from COVID, come on, man. G -g come behind me. Draw. Come on. Do what God has called you to do and watch what happens to your situations. For real. Watch what happened to your situations. My life changed when I start listening to God and really start doing what he called me to do. He called me to pastor. He told me to he called me to coach. He called me to pastor. When I really start doing that instead of trying to uh, 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 do all this other stuff, when I say, you know what, this is what God called me to do. This is what I'm going to do. Things start changing in my life, fellas. Things start changing. All right. You are kingdom men. Who are you listening to? This week, until I would get part two next uh, Monday, I want you to really sit down. And I really want you to, uh, uh, what, whatever you're doing, I really want you to put in your mind. I really want you to think about, uh, 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 search your heart about this. Who are you really listening to? Are you listening to the guy who got the nice car, but you know he's financially under the table? But because he drive a nice car, you listening to him? Are you listening to the guy who seemed like his family's okay, but you know that he's cheating on his wife? You know it. But are you really are you listening to him? Are you listening to the people on your job who you feel like have reached an educational status and they feel like they got it going on on the job, but you know that they backbiting and they putting people down and they keep, that they doing all kind of crazy stuff to keep trying to get ahead? Are you listening to them? No, truly, ask yourself. Look at the situations in your life. Look at all the situations in your life, whether good or bad. 
and ask yourself, when I got into this bad situation, who was I re who was I talking to during this time? Who was who was I listening to during this time? Who was speak look at the good situation. Say who was I listening to at this time? Who was I talking to? And then when you put that out, then start comparing. Okay, in this bad situation, I was listening to uh, 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 my cousin, uh, 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 Buki, and Buki was in this crazy, oh my God, I'm in the same crazy, or uh, over here, I was listening to Uncle Jim, and Uncle Jim was doing good, and Uncle Jim, oh man, yeah, I followed that advice, and man, this thing played, played out for me in a good way. Who You listening to somebody, don't think you're not. We are all listening to somebody. But as kingdom men, as kingdom men, the first person we will be listening to is God. Again, again, who are you listening to? All right, mighty men of valor. Love you guys. I thank you guys. Man, I can't wait to see you guys. I'm just so excited about what God is going to do in this men's ministry. All right. All right, guys, I love you. All right, hug your families for me. Pray with your families. Have devotion with your families, all right? I'll see you next Monday for part two of our Kingdom Men Bible Study. God bless.